Hey, it's Elvis Cup Guy. This video is about this unseen, unpublished photo and the story behind it. And I'd like to tell you about it, then I'm going to go in and show a little more details about the photo and uh, give some more details on it. But here we go. A few years ago, I had this collection in my possession. I owned it. Uh, I've since traded it sold it but it was uh, a contract signed by Tom Diskin and signed by these people Doris and Lee Storm who were part of a variety show that opened up for Elvis in 1956 they were uh, like type of uh, vaudeville dancers and this is from their scrapbook that I managed to obtain. And as you can see, there's their contract signed by them and Tom Diskin. Some uh, concert advertisements from, from back then. Some correspondence with uh, Tom Diskin on where, they, where they'd be staying. And a uh, Christmas card from Colonel Parker. And there they are, Doris and Lee Storm. But to get to the story of the photograph, in 1956, on June 30th, they played, uh, Elvis played, and uh, Doris and Lee Storm opened up for Elvis at the Moss Theater in Richmond, Virginia. There's an ad from it. There's an ad from it. There's the uh, collection that I had at one time. But, Elvis at the uh, Moss Theater, June 30, 56. There he is backstage on the drums, June 30th, 1956. Elvis with an accordion backstage. Little girl backstage. Okay, Elvis on stage. Uh, another ad from that time period. Now, this lady, this was Doris at the time, Storm. This is her obituary. But, this is all pertinent because... Of this photo. Their son posed with Elvis backstage before one of the shows at the Moss Theater in Richmond, Virginia on June 30th, 1956. Now I owned this photo and it's unpublished. So I get the glare off of it. But, there it is, as you can see, Doris spent her young adulthood on the road, paired with her late husband, known professionally as Doris Lee Storm Novelty Dance Team. Uh, they toured all North America, spent several years at a club in New Orleans. At one point, they were the opening act for Elvis Presley. Uh, she was, uh, Doris was best known as the mother of a longtime and well-loved radio personality, Wayne Trout. Wayne passed away in 2005, Mrs. Trout's only child. Now remember, this is Doris and Lee Storm, uh, and possibly that was their stage name, but there she is, but here is a photo of Elvis and her son taken backstage at the Moss Theater on June 30th, 1956. Now, if you've seen this published somewhere, it's because it came from me. 
and he's wearing his little western gun but I thought you guys might enjoy that uh, let me see if I can get another angle here but without going into too much detail that's the story on this photo the opening act or one of the opening acts for Elvis on June 30th 1956 and a couple of the dates before and after that were Doris and Lee Storm and they were dancers part of the variety show that opened up for Elvis at that time and that's who that is Wayne the little boy's name is Wayne so there you go and as a little bonus there's a famous photo well not that famous of Elvis backstage holding a dog around the same time period but a lot of people have seen a particular version of it but here's one taken around the same time where the dog's not standing still not really related to the photo I just showed you but around the same time frame but you can see Elvis is holding this dog and the dog's trying to squirm away so there it is, Elvis at the Moss Theater on stage, but there he is backstage with Wayne, the son of Doris and Lee Storm.